How you doing? Silver Sleuth here, coming at you with another adventure. This one's not a prospecting adventure. This is going to be a how-to adventure. I'm going to convert my Keen A52 Sleuths to a Keen A52S Super Sleuth. That's right, a Keen A52S Super Sleuth conversion video. After this is all done with and I got my sluice box converted to a Keen A52S Super Sleuth, I'll be able to feed material directly into the sluice without having to classify it first. Let me show you around and I'll show you the parts I got in the kit. These are the tools that are needed for doing this conversion. Tape measure, 3 16 drill bit, a 17 64 drill bit, 7 16 inch wrench, Phillips screwdriver, drill, rivet gun, and either a pair of vice grips like this or a C-clamp will work. Let's get into this conversion and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, this is a Keen A52 sluice right here. And the first thing we got right here is the new classifier screen system. Keen part number A52SCS. It's two pieces right here. It comes with all the mounting hardware for bolting the screens together. These are the hold downs that will hold the front of the screen down in the sluice box, plus the wing nut that will go through that screen right there. The next part is the sluice leg kit A52S. LK. It comes with all the rivets and screws for mounting the mounting brackets on the side of the sluice. All you have to do is drill holes. And then the last part is the A52S riffle board and carpets and matting. Part number A52SRA. It's got the riffles, carpet, miracle matting, some expanded metal, and another piece of carpeting. I've also purchased a piece of half matting right here that I'm going to throw in the front of the sluice box to right in the flare section. I'm not going to do that in this video because I want to actually play with this thing today. So there's all the parts in the kits and the part numbers. I'll list all the part numbers to the kits in the description below the video. As you can see, there's two different sets of swivel leg mounts. Ideally, what we want to do when we put these together, we're going to have this set on one side and this set on the other. And the reason why I got them set up like this is so that when it's folded away and the legs are tucked up in there, this leg will go like this and the other leg will go like that and they won't interfere with each other. I'm going to start on the swivel leg mount up by the flare. I'm going to start this off and I'm going to locate this one and a half inches from the flare to the start right here. And then I'm also gonna come up three quarters of an inch from the edge right here up to the edge of the mount and the same thing right here. Let me get that in place and I'll show you what I got going on. I've got that all clamped in place with my vice grips. C-clamp would also work. But I'm gonna drill these two holes right here because I can't get my drill bit all the way down with these parts right here in the side. So I'm gonna do this side right here. I'll rivet this side in and then I'll swivel this out of the way and then I'll drill this side and rivet this side also. I got these first two rivets in right here. Now I'm gonna pull this pin up right here and I'm gonna rotate this opposite the direction I would normally rotate it so that I can drill these two holes out and get rivets in here. I got the first swivel leg base mounted. Let's pull this pin up, rotate it. Until it drops down that first one. That's in that first hole. I can loosen this up. Just the leg down, just it back up. Let's get on to doing the second one over here. On the tail end of the sluice, as you can see, I have the leg bracket on the bottom compared to up here up front by the flare, I have it up on top. I have this one mounted exactly two and a half inches over from the edge and three and a quarter inches up again on both sides. I got a clamp down, I'm gonna drill it rivet these two sides, rotate the leg assembly out of the way, drill and rivet these two sides. I'll show what it looks like when I got this side mounted. I got the tail side mounted now. Put leg on there. Pull that pin up. Rotate it. Box in there just to the height that I want it. Just like that. This side's all done. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. I'm gonna do the same measurements on the other side, offset these the same way I did this side. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. 
Okay, I got all the leg swivel mounts mounted and the legs in right now. Let me show you how easy it is to set this up. And I'm just gonna make this go straight up and down for now. like that. You can also rotate them. And angle them. And you can do the same thing with the backs. All right. I'm gonna get on with part two of this conversion to show you what we got going on with part two. There's one more thing I wanna show you with these adjustable legs. This little pin right here you can pull out and it's actually got to stop right there. You actually have to rotate it a little bit more and then it'll drop back in. So right there you can free spin it around if you don't wanna hold it out. Right there's all the way in. Part two is gonna start off by putting the classifying screen together. There's three holes in here, two and three, that these three screws and these nylock nuts are gonna to go to. These are Phillips head screws and this takes a 7 16 wrench. So I'm gonna bolt that together real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like after it's all bolted together. I got this all put together. The only thing left to do is to get this wing screw in here and mount these braces to hold down the front. I'll put the rest of this loose together with the new parts so I know exactly where to mount this screw in this screen. I got the sluice box put together. I got the matted carpeting, the miracle mat, matted carpeting, and the expanded metal over them, and then the riffles are over the whole thing. I'll show you how the screen sets over the top of this. Okay, we're just going to set this right down in there and slide it back just like that. These two brackets right here are gonna go in here at a diagonal angle, long side down towards the bottom to hold the front edge of this in. This one will go on this side. I'll show you how I'm gonna mark those and drill those out in a minute. And I'm gonna show you where this wing bolt right here goes in here. I got the classifying screen sitting inside the sluice. I got the front pushed all the way back. Down here, we need to locate the stud. That's what this wing bolt's going to go into right there. So we're going to locate that stud right there. And I'm going to use that same Phillips screwdriver, and I'm just going to open that hole up just a little bit. So my wing bolt drops down through there. I didn't like the idea of having a loose wing bolt that I could lose out in the water. So I called Mark Keen and spoke to him. I said, hey Mark, if we were to make a longer wing bolt and put a nylock nut underneath it, it would be permanently attached to the screen right here. And then we just screw it in and out. Let me put that in there and I'll show you how that looks. I have my wing bolt permanently attached to the screen with a nylock nut right here. Put this in here, screw it down, and it stops right there. Notice I got it stopped so that it's sitting this way. If it stops this way or that way, all you got to do is under the bottom is adjust that nylon lock nut a little bit. And then you'll end up with this going straight up and down. Next thing I got to do is mount the hold downs for the front. 
and I'm gonna grab my marker and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that in just a second. Okay, I got the hold down assembly right here. And this is gonna end up being mounted right here. And you want the long part down. Short side with the hole, hole towards the top. And all I'm gonna do is mark right there with my Sharpie. I'll drill that out with that 3 16 drill bit. Put the screw and lock nut on that. And this will be done. Then I gotta repeat the same thing on this side and this side will be done. I got the front fasteners on. We're all bolted down. I'm gonna take it apart real quick just to show you how it comes apart now. Gonna flip these up out of the way. Grab the wing nut. Just like that. This comes apart just like the regular sluice after that. I can't wait to get this in the water and give it a shot. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment below. I have all the parts listed from the conversion kit listed in the description. You won't never find it if you don't ever look for it.